Welcome back to Nook and Cranny Gaming. We are playing Shadowgate. Hello, Nook here. Welcome back to Shadowgate. So last time we killed a changeling in the other tower. We found this other tower and we uh, unblocked this door. So there's a door downstairs and a door up here. I'm more intrigued by this door, so we'll open this one first. The door opens with a creak and a strange rustling of leaves. Is Poison Ivy in here? Is that Lackmere? The small chamber has literally been engulfed by roots and vines of all types, what stem from a single point in the ceiling. You wonder what is up there, and resolve to do something about it. Well, 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 well what about the guy? The body of Lackmere the Timeless floats above the floor. His expression is fascinating, a mix of calm and concentration. He grimaces every now and then, as if in pain. Traced on the floor, the glowing circle glimmers and sparkles with a quiet power. You lift your eyes to the ceiling, your jaw dropping in awe. You have found the source of the strange flora that has engulfed the room. Perhaps you should step in for a closer look. This opening in the dense roots leads to a small nook. I picked a good name, that's all I got to say. <laughs> okay, so in the window, there's probably sheets of rain. The root-choked opening was once a window. Outside, you see the fully f full fury of a thunderstorm beating down on the surrounding mountains. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go upstairs. I'm not sure what to do about Lackmere, but he's just standing there. You stand up on your toes to get a closer look at the center of the roots. A mesmerizing mass of roots and vines emanate, emanate from the center of the ceiling. At the heart of the tangled confusion, a golden artifact glows with uncalming power. Well, of course we're gonna take it. You pull the golden thorn from amongst the tangled roots. The artifact resists at first, but then seems to accept your touch, easily dislodging, dislodging from the vines that it enshrouded. I, I spend all this time to, trying to enunciate and whatever, and it's just like, and raging, and I just end up sounding like a dum dum, anyways. Uh, let's check out this nook. Oh my. You drop to your knees and crawl through the grasping roots to a nook beyond. A nook beyond. <laughs> Amidst the tangle of roots and vines lies a small nook housing a desk and various scholarly paraphernalia. Well, let's take a look at the books. We'll get to the chest. The spine of this ancient leather book is falling to pieces. Let's open it up. What's it, what's it say? You read an annotated passage. The dawning of the age shall portend a change to the powers of the earth and of the air. The rain shall end for all that walk the ways. Foremost among this is the behemoth. He who is set above all others. It is he that holds the key and wields the powers of the stars. He stands against all, and all stand against him. Great and terrible is his might. What's this other book? Year 1851. The neat handwritten entry fills the page from edge to edge. My efforts have been rewarded as I have found the one. It is left to me to set him on the path, this I know. We're Neo! The magic I, j I must attempt is formidable, and I have little acquaintance with astral conjurations. Through taxing, though taxing, I need to remain in this stasis until the task is exhausted. My defenses will have to hold the thorn. Ha will have to hold. The thorn has proven to be a valuable artifact and has thwarted Kahu's attempts to reach me. You carefully open the book. Oh, to the dog-eared page. Okay, that's that's what we just found. What is up at the desk? The plain table is nothing. Is not only solidly built, but appears to be made of wood found in the northern stand. The table is far too large to move around. The wood construct appears consists of a seat, legs, and back. Perhaps one could sit down at such a contraption. A contraption? Unless they're just making a joke, like it's a fucking chair. <laughs> What's in the desk? Or the uh, the the chest? Good lord. A lots of things. Jeez. You throw the back the latch and open the chest. You find two scrolls, a key, and a book. These you place in your bag. I'm gonna take these books too, just because I, I do like collecting. All the books and things. So what's the golden horn that we pulled down from the ceiling? 
Golden Thorn. This golden piece of wood pulsates with an ancient power. Without a doubt, the roots have been thus far originate from this artifact. Wow. So another strange key. The engraving on this key resembles a lion breathing fire. Hmm. Alright, so new scroll. <clears throat> you read the handwritten note. Timeless one, I have done what you have asked. My travels have taken me to the north, where I have found a woman with the family or Ornsal. Her great-grandmother can be traced back to the meeting you speculated, a secret l relation with the High One some 300 years past. This woman has taken the name Kuthagar. A strong coincidence, or have you, f or have we found the one you seek? The letter is sound. Oh my lord, words! The letter is signed with a mark in the shape of the letter W. So they're talking about finding me. That's crazy. You unroll the parchment. You read the words on the scroll. One particular word stands out from the rest. Ascensure. Ascensure? Ascensure. Ascensure. In your mind's eye, you see the glyph glowing with power. Blah, blah, blah. You write it down. You learn a spell. Awesome. What's this one do? Are we going to fly? I can fly. This complex symbol translates to an ancient word. Ascensure. The images of it. The image it conjure, conjures feels like a rite of passage. I wonder if we can cross the Hell Bridge way back in the beginning now, you think? Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, I need that tea for my throat. I've been fighting something for like a couple weeks now. Let's see if we can sit in the chair. The chair creaks alarming under your weight. You quickly get back up. Okay, well. It's just a chair. <laughs> Let's go back and check out Lackmere again. Hey, buddy. Yeah, nothing new. He's He appears to be in pain. Use the potion on him. A barrier of defensive magics flashes all around like Mir's floating bo body, giving you a nasty shock. Should we just leave him? I don't feel like we should just leave him. Like, uh, haven't we come to find him? Or has he just called us to defeat uh, the bad guy? Well, one thing I know for sure... is that we have found the golden thorn, which was in that long note that we found earlier, or we got from him earlier. So let's read over that. You read the words on the scroll aloud. Five to find, three are one. One gives access to the bladed sun. I'm not sure what the bladed sun is yet. The silver orb we have to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe we have not found. Joining two, the number two, joining two, the golden thorn. The last to invoke the platinum horn. So we have the silver orb. We have the golden thorn. We need a staff of ages and a, and a platinum horn. Hmm. Joining two. Joining. Joining two. Do we use the platinum or the golden thorn on him? No. Nope. Alright, Lackmare, nice to see you, buddy. I think. Let's go check out the doorway downstairs. What's in here? Door opens with ease. It's not good. It's never a good sign. Oh, this is nice. Sound is amplified in the circular chamber filled with musical instruments. Hand, hand carved flute is made from some type of wood. Four holes have been carved into it. I love musical challenges. These are great. Six strings run the length of this short-necked lute. It is prized possession for any bard, bard or tavern entertainer. This large drum consists of a large animal hide stretched over a shell with a curved wood. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's what they are. Pointy conical hat is made from a soft purple material. Sounds like a wizard's hat. Looks like Gandalf's hat, straight up. <clears throat> made of elegantly curved wood, this harp contains a number of differing length strings from the column to the knee. Let's take the hat. Duh. The regal influence of the court can be seen in the craftsmanship of the formal couch. And what's the table? The intricately carved wood trim on this desk is amazing. You wonder what this piece of furniture would fetch on the streets of Gwythenthal. 
You open each drawer. Nope, nothing. Anything outside? The swirling clouds and howling wind. Yep, it's a terrible storm. So, can we take the flute? Can we take the loot? Use harp on what? Nope. <laughs> That's not how you use a harp. Use flute on what? No, that doesn't really work either. Do you hear those footsteps? That's creepy. Can we use an unlit torch on the drum? Boom, 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 boom. Since nothing is happening, after a few moments, you try you stop trying to use the torch on the drum. I'm not sure what to do in here. This is very, very interesting. Hmm. Wouldn't be here if there wasn't something to do with it, so we'll have to investigate that further <clears throat> in the future. Speaking of in the future, unfortunately, it's time to go. So, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Shadowgate. Uh, this is now my main series on the channel, and we'll have a new series popping up on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, which is usually when this one posted, so keep an eye out for that next week. And until then, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching Nook and Cranny Gaming. Make sure to subscribe for new videos Monday through Friday, and don't miss my Twitch streams on Tuesday and Thursday. I will see you in the next video.